family is a good day today. I have already started the process, you all, of getting ready for the fall. Now, I had the opportunity to go to my uh, municipality area because I wanted to get some wood chips. Now, wood chips are very, very uh, beneficial to the garden. Some people say yay, some people say nay. But you hear a lot of people using wood chips for the pathways and mulch, which is great. I already added some of our wood chips to certain our certain containers. But the reason why I went to get some wood chips was because I wanted to use it for our compost. Now, as you can see, there is some of the wood chips. It was uh, filled up all the way to the to the top, but over near the compost area i have already started the process of adding wood chips and so uh and the bottom of our compost bin there is some compost fresh fresh compost and see that dark right there that is fresh compost i left that dig so y'all can see it already had broken down but I added um, what was broken down. I left it there and just added some more wood chips and added some more uh, food scraps uh, and whatnot and added the wood chips. Now, one of the things I got to do today is harvest the brown turkey. That one and that one. There are many ways to basically uh, amend your soil some just use certain fertilizers like your uh, feather mill, your bone mill, your blood mill uh, separately. But it's also okay to use an off-earth fertilizer and uh, fertilize your bed like that. And so that's what we're going to do today. You can just use straight compost if you want to or earthworm castings. It doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to go ahead and fertil uh, get my bed some fertilizer. And I'm using, I have a guess, all purpose fertilizer here. And a little goes a long way, you all. Just to uh, let you all know. So, that's good enough. Yeah, that's good. Right there. And I already removed our patio bark, which is our mulch that we have used. Now, what's going to be different about this bed is that this patio part is not going to be used um, for this container. I'm going to go ahead and use the wood chips. I left my cleaver. Hold up one moment. I got my cleaver here, y'all. Whew, I think we'll find it. Um, so this is all you do. You can go ahead and I can go ahead and just wet the soil right after doing this. But see, my soil is already um, moist uh, already, so I don't have to worry. And I think you all, I, I really believe that I have some potatoes still left in here. Uh, many potatoes. Oh, here you go. Bark. That's all right. So, bam, that's all she wrote. Again, I'm not covering this bed with the patio bark anymore. I'm gonna leave it alone until I'm ready to go ahead and start um, direct sowing my beet seeds because my beets are gonna go in this container. So let me make sure I get this section too. Okay, oh, there go another piece of bark. Baby, that's all she wrote. One thing I can do, by the way, is cover this bed here with my shade cloth. That way, um, no strays come up in here and do their business. So that's what I probably will do. But I gotta make sure I don't get cut by this lemongrass that's next to me because it's starting to do its business on me.